Many New Yorkers remain in Israel, unable to get flights home after major airlines suspended service following the attack by Hamas. One New York congressman tells CBS 2's Alice Gaynor how he got out and how local lawmakers are now trying to help others. It was harrowing. It was traumatic, uh, and certainly for my children. New York Congressman Dan Goldman was in a Tel Aviv hotel Saturday when the air raid sirens began blaring. And having to go to a stairwell to shelter from the rockets pales in comparison to what so many Israelis in the South um, have had to endure. He was able to fly out on an El Al flight Sunday and is now trying to help New Yorkers who are stuck in Israel. El Al planes have missile defense systems. The domestic airlines have stopped flying in and out of Israel, so uh, we will be reaching out to the domestic airlines to see if there's any way that we can alleviate their concerns so they can resume service. Delta says flights there are canceled through October 31st. United says our Tel Aviv flights will remain suspended until conditions allow them to resume. And American Airlines has temporarily suspended operations to and from Tel Aviv through December 4th. At Assemblymember Simca Eichenstein's office in Borough Park, Brooklyn. We've had literally hundreds of people call the office, call me personally, that they're stuck in Israel. They say if you haven't already contacted their office, please do so and provide as much information as possible. If you happen to have your family member's passport number. So that we can coordinate with the State Department, make sure everybody uh, is in our system, that we're tracking everybody, and that we're, we know where everybody uh, is. It's tense. This man's 17-year-old son is over there. He got him a flight next Monday, but is trying to get him home sooner. These are American citizens that are stuck in a war zone. In Borough Park, Brooklyn, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.